places that I love to visit when we go on holiday to America is the Epcot Centre in Orlando. I love visiting the different countries and getting a taste of their cultures and their different types of food. And one country that I like in particular is China. I love to watch the Chinese performers spinning the plates on sticks, um, on their hands, on their foreheads, balance them even in their mouths. And whilst doing that, they're also climbing up each other and climbing over obstacles and they don't miss, they don't miss anything. They, they just keep those plates spinning and spinning. And in more than one season in my life, I have felt like one of these acrobats balancing and spinning the plates of, of my life on the end of sticks and feeling that if I ignore any one of them, if I fail to keep them going, if I take my eye off the ball at any one point, they're all going to come crashing down and ruin the performance. You know, trying to hold everything together can be physically and mentally exhausting. We can get left feeling a sense of um, being overwhelmed in our lives and, and our relationships can begin to suffer as a result. I know when I'm lacking rest in my life, I snap at my children and I can become judgmental. And even if we fill our time by doing lots of good things, rest is necessary for us all. I know for me, when my four girls were very little and all at home, one of the things that I did in my life to, to get that rest was that every afternoon, between the hours roughly of 1.30 and 3 o'clock, I rested. So that meant the babies went to bed, the toddlers learnt to play quietly in their bedrooms because that was mum's time to rest. Whether I slept, whether I read a book, whether I watched TV, whether I just lay on the sofa and listened to music, I needed to rest to be the best mum that I could be for my children. And even Jesus, you know, we see, don't we, as we look at his life, we see that he rested in scripture. It says that after he'd spent an evening at Peter's home, even Jesus, he says to his disciples, come on, let's go across the boat. Come away with me. Let's go. And he says that even he fell asleep in the boat as they crossed the lake that night. But there's another type of rest that Jesus talks about. And I think that some of our lack of physical rest can be linked to something deeper. And that is spiritual rest. There's a spiritual rest that comes from the gift of salvation. You know, that spiritual struggle, trying to make ourselves right with God, is finished at the cross. So we get rest immediately there. But as believers, we can often forget that our continued growth in Jesus is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, not our good works. And our ultimate rest of our soul um, can be found in taking up Jesus's invitation. He says this, he says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. So let me encourage you all today. Stop trying to earn the approval of Jesus. Put down some of the, um, the plates that you are spinning and let him carry them instead. Surrender those plates to Jesus, the plates of your life. He never intended you to do this on your own. Ask Jesus to help you carry what needs carrying and help him to ask him to help you leave the plates that he never intended for you to pick up. And by doing this, your heart and your mind will know his peace and you will find his rest. And this is the promise that we have in Jesus.